It's Creech, and I just want to make a quick video today showing you how to pan hi-hats. Uh, I've been hearing this in a few songs, and it just adds a really neat effect. So essentially, you need a hi-hat pattern, first and foremost. Uh, and there are a couple ways you can go about doing this. Um, so, first thing I'm going to do uh, is, is within the piano roll, there's the, this little thing that says control. It will be uh, should automatically be set on velocity if you never really touch it. And so from here, there are two ways. So you can go to note pan, which will, uh, for, I'm going to ahead and just focus in here. I'll get in this one. Uh, we'll just kind of focus in on this one bar here. Um, and so the, on this mode, you will have a, uh, the option to pan each individual note. As you can see, there's a little marker for each note. And uh, so uh, I say this in every, all my videos, but if yeah, you don't watch them before, always look up in this panel here as you see it's called the hint panel and it will show you what you're touching so uh, if we go here and go about 50% left 50% uh, right and obviously this is 50 100% is like the little markers there um, and what I really want to automate see how it sounds is and you can go just at different levels. Go uh, that. You, know, you just do whatever you want. This isn't going to re really be a permanent thing. So we can just go ahead and see how that sounds. And so obviously you can play around with that. Whatever. This isn't really a permanent thing for me. Uh, and so let's see do is go here to history and then to uh lost fuck okay um the next way you can do it is on channel panning so as you can see this is on for basically note properties or note controls and this is channel controls and so note is each individual note and a channel is each one of these little sections here each sound is a channel so if you go to channel panning you can uh, you basically draw what you want to have happen so I don't like doing this way because basically as you can see it's starting to do over here it's going to do it for the whole thing um, so I just I don't really like that but you can uh, um, I just realized I still have this fucked up, but whatever. You can you can get this a little more precise, or you can get to go between notes um, instead of just on each note. Here's what that one sounds like. It's a little shit. Let me try to find the. Uh, I'm a dumbass, dude. I actually deleted all. Okay, well, that was my bad. Uh, so uh, the the final way that you can do this is, um, and you can do this for virtually anything uh, in FL Studio. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take one of these and just put it into uh, the playlist. Switch to song mode, and uh, real quick, I'm just gonna draw. A, uh, go ahead and just delete that for now. I'm just going to draw a little section here. I don't really know what to call this, but it'll focus in on that one section. And what you want to do from here is you have this left knob here is the channel panning knob. So if you just move it a little bit and click, right click, and then click reset, reset, you can then go to tools, last week, create an automation clip. Uh, let me move it into an audible one. Um, fuck. Uh, and then from there, you can basically it works like any other automation clip, so you can have it kind of fade, um, not fade in like a norm, like a volume one, but have it go from basically you can go slowly go from right to left or whatever. Oh, uh, they got some presets here, I think that you can. Uh, I don't know. 
I'm not going to get too into that, but essentially you can, you can create a uh, an automation clip. And that one's going to slowly pan from side to side. And so that's pretty much it. Those are three ways that you can create uh, panning for any sound really, but obviously this was specifically about hi-hats. Uh, so this was kind of a shitty video, but uh, thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful.